overflows love and awareness love and awareness are two sides of the same coin the person who follows the path of awareness or as you are becoming more and more aware each moment as you interact in the objects and beings love blossoms in you as a consequence or fragrance of awareness then your love is not directed to any particular person but it is the harmony within your anima and animus the harmony that is established within or that comes within with being moment to moment aware is nothing else what love love is the quality of your being the moment you become aware or you practice awareness moment to moment love blossoms in you as the quality as the harmony as the oneness within love is nothing else but oneness within and if the oneness is not there then whatever you call love is not really love so you can start from the side of awareness start being aware of small things moment to moment when you become aware of the clothes that you wear for the day and the elegance and the protection that clothes have given to you you develop a different kind of a quality for you it will be difficult to know it as love but it is the harmony there is no conflict you are being sensitive to everything sentient or insentient you are not even sentient you are not even sensitive to sentient things like human beings animals plants and as awareness grows you become moment to moment aware you are handling you are working in the kitchen you are using the pots they have a kind of a sensitivity that you that ordinary human cognition cannot envision the moment you handle it with care with awareness a different quality is born in you you would have noticed when you are angry you are frustrated or something of that nature is there the pots make too much noise you are using the pots and everything very carelessly opening the doors of the door of the room or the cupboard violently so you cannot show violence to others so you are expressing your violence towards <coughs> these things which cannot respond to you and you feel powerful this is what happens so as you grow into awareness a different quality of harmony and oneness is born in you as the consequence or as the fragrance of awareness 
So love is the consequence or the fragrance of awareness. This is from the side of awareness. Those are mind oriented. For them being aware is much easier. There are others who are heart oriented. They start being loving more and more towards everything that you are doing. You are handling the clothes, the cupboard or whatsoever it is, opening the doors of the vehicle, sitting in the car or whatsoever it is, lovingly out of a soft caring approach. Slowly and slowly you will realize that awareness grows deeper into you. More and more awareness grows into you. And the person who follows the path of love, who is more loving towards objects and beings, finds awareness as a consequence, as a byproduct, as the shadow of love. That's why I said both are two sides of the same coin. You can start from any side, whichever side appeals to you. Indeed, love and awareness are two sides of the same coin. And remember, if your awareness lacks love, then it is still impure. Then, although its journey has begun, but still it has traces of unawareness. It has not yet known 100% purity. As you begin to grow into awareness, you will realize slowly and slowly the purity of your awareness or purity of your harmony or oneness or love increases. It is not yet real awareness. It must be mixed with certain traces of aware, unawareness. In the beginning, when you begin to be aware of the small things, the traces of unawareness or the moments you still come, you may forget completely at times. But the journey has begun. That is most important. It is not pure light as yet. There must be some pockets of darkness inside you still. It's still working, functioning and influencing and dominating you. You are practicing awareness, all of a sudden something happens through your spouse or something. Trace of impurity breeds in. As the, since the process is continuing, automatically something will dawn to you that you should have not done this or it is not right. You will immediately change. So in the beginning that means the awareness, the purity of awareness is growing more and more into you. If your love is without awareness, then it is not love. It must be something lower something closer to lust than to prayer. When love blossoms out of purity, out of total awareness, then it becomes a prayer, it becomes a compassion, then you are compassionate towards everything, objects and beings, sentient and insentient. So let it be the criteria if you follow the path of awareness, let love be the criteria. If you, when your awareness suddenly blossoms into love, know perfectly well 
that awareness has happened and now samadhi can be achieved. If you follow the path of love, then let awareness function, then awareness becomes a touchstone. When suddenly from nowhere, at the very center of your love, a flame of awareness starts arising, know perfectly well that you have come home. So remember this criteria. If you are following the path of awareness, practicing awareness moment to moment in small things, your awareness will blossom as love. Then know perfectly well that awareness has happened and samadhi or a state of dissolution in the total consciousness or totality or existence has been achieved. These moments come and go in your life. At times you feel and I can see this happening to some of you. If you follow the path of love, then awareness functions, let awareness function as a touchstone. When suddenly from nowhere, at the center of your love, center of your love, a flame of awareness starts arising. Know perfectly well that you have come home. Let me explain this. You are dealing with your spouse. And all of a sudden, awareness comes. Whatever limited way that you are, you have to interact with one another. And from nowhere, you realize that in dealing with that person, you are becoming more aware. You are interacting with the person out of awareness, not out of unawareness. Then know perfectly well you have come home. You have come home. These moments comes earlier on, it was difficult for you to interact, you always avoid the interaction with the spouse when there is problems or the relationship is entering into a difficult phase. So you avoid interaction. Now you are interacting and all of a sudden you realize a, dip, a kind of a flame of awareness is coming into you you feel a sort of compassion for the person, then remember that. They remember it perfectly well that you have come home, you have arrived home. Enough for now.